All right, boys, so we are in the B-29. This is... The AI just got to a point where they're like Panther 2s and Tigers, and I would imagine it might go all the way up to, like, BR-8s. But this is this is interesting, man. I tell you what, like... I was kind of skeptical, but this is definitely, like, an enjoyable game mode. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with these bombs. Because this could be wunderbar, yeah? Let's go ahead and see. Four, five, eight, nine, ten. Oh, nine. Hell yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. Yeah, look at that. That little X in the circle means I'm in the middle of arcade mode. Now, this is one of the events. Unfortunately, I missed the enchanted M18 Hellcat. There was a few races that War Thunder did for the Halloween event. And I think it's interesting... Enemies have appeared. Oh, they are over here. So what, we just we just shoot as many tanks as we can? Looks like my team's already doing pretty good. Some people clearly have played this before and are moving in. Now, you can pick any tank. I obviously picked the T-34 because it is <clears throat> the hardest tank in War Thunder to use. Yeah, that's right. It's pretty difficult, guys. It's point and click, which... You know, for a lot of people, is is actually very, very challenging. So you gotta you gotta keep that in mind here. And look at this. Oh man, it's been a while since I played arcade. Yeah, I was like, shouldn't my X go green? Look at that guy. He's just like moving around them. We're gonna and we're firing at a half a kilometer away. Dumb. That's silly. But yeah, I didn't I didn't take part in either of the uh, Halloween races, which was a shame. Look at that. Just amazing shots. But it makes you wonder. Halloween, I think, is a bigger day than April Fool's. I think Gaijin just absolutely kills. They do so well. Look at this. this. Is this even... I wonder if the AI just needs to get updated. You know what I mean? Because, like, they could really make them dangerous and scary. And right now, they're not really. What is going on? I have APHEBC God Rounds. And if this is arcade, maybe we should just charge them. Maybe maybe we should play this game as it's intended to be played. And that is run your T-34 in circles, shoot them everywhere, and don't worry about the AI hitting you. Although it is funny when you or a teammate does get killed by an AI. Man, I think that makes for some of the best. I should probably make a top five, if people submit the videos, obviously, of like people who have gotten killed by the AI in the most ridiculous or silly ways. I think that'd be a lot of fun. But see, look at this right here. We've got this really cool fortified town um, or, you know, collection of buildings. We've got some AIs moving in. Now, if AIs really, really, like, played smart, imagine all the possibilities, you know, that would that you could do in War Thunder. Oh, yeah, let's, man, these, these little extra pieces of armor here. Doing really good at stopping my shit. There we go. Our first kill of the day, boys. We're on the board. That guy's on fire. That guy's not. Another hit and <laughs> another bounce. Who said T-34s had the best slope? But what I'm thinking is... I, I'm, I've, I've over, I don't know, maybe the last year to year and a half, maybe even two years, have suggested that War Thunder evolves... Because right now, there's really one game mode you play, and that is go out, kill the enemy team, and then, like, call it a day, right? And I think that, look at that, I think that AI just shot his friend in the butt. In the butt. Oh my god, we actually, we got hit. Hold on, who shot me? Because that was cool. The AI is actually hurting me. I'm down to two crew members. That's a problem. Oh... Don't you love that? See, War Thunder is a beautiful game. Like, that's what drew me to it in the first place. War Thunder needs to adapt. We all need to adapt. I, myself, as a content creator for War Thunder, need to adapt. I mean, you can't just put out the same stuff and that's... Oh my god, we're gonna get overrun, bro. Enemy kill assist. Yeah, look, my guys are damaged. So the AI is slowly but surely getting better. And now, do I want to hide behind my friend? Did I shoot someone that someone else shot? Damn. We, you know, great minds think alike. Look at that. Getting killed by a Panzer IV-H. Yeah, and we are going to get to see the shot. 
But I think it's hard because you really have to come up with a really, really advanced AI. But if you could, you could create some of the coolest battlefield experiences in a video game. I dare say, in a video game, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at that! You actually need to work on spawn points? This is a cool game mode. I tell you what. See, but I would say this is like... This is a... This is fun. Do we have more coming in from over there? Oh my god, yes we do. But we need to... <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see the little shot feed? That was pretty cool. Alright, we're gonna look... This guy's looking at me. So we're gonna shoot him in the... We're gonna try to shoot him in the cannon. Oh my god. They engine blocked me. This is awesome. Here I'm talking shit about AI and I'm getting raffle stomped by them. We're gonna call in some artillery here, boys. We're getting shot to pieces. This guy needs to go, but we're down to three crew members. There we go, we'll take it. Now we're gonna move maneuver around them, but with so many of them, there's gonna be someone who's gonna track me. So we gotta find him and shoot him first. And tell you what, man, it has been a, a decent amount of time since I've played Arcade. And look at that. The artillery just coming in and just concentrated volleys. Oh, my God. So it's like, what, survive as long as you can, I guess? Ooh, you know what? I can call in. Let's see if I can't limp my way back to a more conservative spot and then call in this bow fighter ground attacker. Look at that guy. And see what we can do. Oh, no, it's been taken. So that's unfortunate. I was trying to get out of the line of fire. So here's here's kind of how they're doing it right now. Is the AI in sheer numbers is a huge threat. Oh my god, do we... Yeah, let's go ahead and repair this. And go ahead and get those crew members going. Critical hit. And then I think we should just keep shooting them. <laughs> was that not like the best piece of commentary I've ever had? And then I think we should just maybe keep shooting them. And you know, that, that's, that's a good idea. My name's Baron. I like, I like to shoot at the enemies in the games that I play. Because I think that's maybe the best way to kill them. But like, yeah. So here we have AI in their dangerous by sheer force of volume. Not necessarily tactics. You know, it's really... I think it's difficult, but like if you look at some of the games that have done it, like AI, they've invested heavily. Now this this game it's like very much so about player versus player. But I think that player versus environment, once the AI is good, would open up endless, endless possibilities. Do we have a column coming over here or are those shots coming in from the other side? Wow. I keep, I keep, I just love to hit that slope. Look at that guy. Man, I'm so used to, I'm like, I see a green arrow. I'm like, I'm just going to kill them. It has been so long. Critical hit. Look at that. It's like, you, would you forget where the ammunition is on a Panzer three? And did you forget that there's going to be transmission soaking up your shots? You know what? Let's just. Let's just do it. Let's just finish him off. Oh my god, we got where do we get shot from? Holy shit, they're everywhere! We gotta get Oh look at this guys. They're learning. Drop some artillery. What is this? Yo, dude, I got a machine gun. See, this is what we do in multiplayer. Oh man, they took the Everybody's having a hard time. It's all these tracks. All right, let's go ahead and repair that. I wanted to get down to get up. My teammates doing doing pretty good work. They're doing the Lord's work out there. There we go. Nine seconds on the repair. How many do we got? We got guys up in the nine to kit and like nine plus kills right now, which is pretty good. These artillery pieces. See, look, this is AI not doing its job. Hey guys, and then they just fire, and it's like. Rudimentary AI is the AI that like it automatically detects you and just fires at you even if it can't hit you Which is kind of what's going on with this artillery, but I think that player versus Environment needs to be something that is invested in in War Thunder And then I think we should eventually I, mean, we, I say we it's like we control the development of the game Although I really believe that it's a good idea. This is me personally because like how many of you are like 
you go out and you you do player versus player but I think the end goal really is just to get those next vehicles but at some point that loses a bit of its allure and I mean how many times have we created our own situation that's been a lot of fun what are you see the artillery is shooting at randomly over here so you know that's where the enemies are or are they shooting at that plane because that'd be pretty funny look at that guy he's like he's aiming his gun up and there's no crew spooky what's this guy doing hey dudes what's up hello i don't speak russian what happens now guys maybe there's like one tank that glitched out and we have to hunt him down i think that's what's going on because the a artillery is firing over there um and here comes the il2 oh he killed a panzer three he did his job the troll miguel all right, so that should, what, trigger another... Nope, the AIs are still firing, so there are still some enemies over in that area. Let's see what the T-3485... Oh, wow, I did not know we could take a T-3485 out. Because that is the best. Just the best. He should have one-shot that guy. Look at that, he's on fire. Panzer IV-H burning out. Now, the enemy arrives. Okay, so I guess this is just, like, continue... And fight on but yeah AI right because then a mat my dream scenario right now is when I was flying the Bloman Voss 238 over the English Channel where you go from France to England right now think about one of the most iconic air battles or air campaigns during World War II the Battle of Britain and that's kind of where my idea starts is the Battle of Britain and in it now imagine if the map like see this is a decent sized map right for tanks but it would be incredibly small for aircraft so if you had a huge kind of almost like an open world type scenario where the battle is just continuing and continuing on and you jump in and you can play 30 minutes or you can play 30 hours and you take part in an ever going ever continuing Battle of Britain and you're like, well, Baron, you know, but there's not enough people. Or maybe there would be. Or, like, you know, they'd come in at different times. But see, that's not the point, exactly. You'd have a lot of work to do against AI. Like, there's going to be giant bomber formations of both allied and Axis. Oh, we've got... I'm going to move into it, intercept those tanks over there. I think my team needs me over there. Now, should we get some more crew members? Let's, I think we should probably done that. And we should have done that earlier. But that's what happens when you calm and tight. Where's my circle at? Where is the... F there it is. Is that the circle? Or is this just like an ambiguous zone? That would be... That would be a little nice to know. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure I can do it. Well, I mean, we're out of the cruise anyway. Yeah, because what? We, we got in three. Anyway, so yeah. Battle of Britain. You start that. And then you also have, like, localized um, ground engagements. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Over. Wow, we are attracting the AI's attention. We have got ourselves in a crossfire. So let's go ahead and put ourselves in a nice spot. Because by sheer volume, they are dangerous. And every now and then, it's like... You're only allowed to make 10% of your shots, or like whatever it might be. Fucking bushes. That guy get taken out right away. We didn't even get an assist for it. That's some poo poo now. Look at that reload. Two crew member reload for the birds. Rear turret. That guy soaked up all the shrapnel for his friends. We're getting closed in on my this flank. See, you like that? Here, let's go ahead and call in an airstrike, boys. There we go. Perfect timing. Now, I don't think we're going to have the reload in time for this shot. So we're going to be up in the air in a ground attacker in no time. And man, it has been a long time since I've done the arcade way. What is going on? I tell you what, there's some interesting issues with my computer. Right now, I'm actually at 30 frames. Now it... It's slowly going up. Yeah, I've got got this new graphics card in. Holy shit! Oh, we've only got four rockets. 
the poop. But look at this, see? This is what's going on in War Thunder. I like this event. It's interesting. It changes things up. Now, we've got what? Yeah, what is going on? One tank down. That's that's an expert ground attack. So good. Do we have 37s? No, of course not. One second and then we're back. Yeah, I forgot all about this. Safe and sound times one attacker, but you're dead! So... Let's just, like, but do you see what I mean? Like, what are your thoughts on that idea where, like, there's more of an emphasis on where there's PvP and PvE intermixed? Because right now you'll have tank battles, what, 20 versus 20? Something like that? Oh, you know what it is? It's like the frames must drop because there's so many enemy... Well, there you go. That's one of the issues that you'd have to account for is, like, by all these, like, beings... I want artillery. That's what I want. Look at how many Panzer fucking fours there are. This is like a Russian assault. Where are you getting? Oh man, this is what I get for not bringing in any, you know, better armor piercing rounds and just wanting to go with AP, AP HEBCs. Haha, -E but that's why you want them. When you do, pen. Poop. Oh shit, we got tigers now? Hell yeah. So it's slowly changing in difficulty. Am I getting shot in the booty hole? I am. Let's go ahead and not get shot in the booty hole. Let's get our crew member back. We'll drop some artillery on that group. Oh my god, if the artillery hits. Yeah, there is a tiger leading that group too, and these guys are trying to shoot. See, that's the thing about AI. It'll just take... Oh my god, excellent bombing run. That guy just killed so many people. B-29, just carpet bombing. Artillery is in danger. The enemy got too close. Oh! <gasps> They're doing it! No way! Oh shit, fucking tigers. Two X hits. Yeah, so eventually we're just gonna get overrun. If I had a T-3045, I'd, you know, I'd be, I'd be pooping on them. Huh. And see that right there? I should go through it, but there's just no... It's not detecting it for whatever reason. Huh. Interesting. Where, like, these hedgehogs just, like, totally mess up. Oh, look at that little T-34 sneaking up. Man, I tell you what, that thing's just loaded. We're gonna aim for the turret, but I think right now it's winding down, and this is more of, like, let's get a little discussion going about what you think about that kind of approach to War Thunder, where there'd be a slow evolution where, where are you? Hey, Baron. Maybe try flanking around me or shooting one of the weaker people. Look at these guys. They're just slowing to a crawl right now. Ooh, tiger. Of course we hit the tracks. Oh, big daddy I is too. I guess I do have a T-34. Let's, let's see how many points I have. 880? Yeah. I think that may be the ticket. Let's go ahead and maneuver. Try to shoot the tiger in the side. Follow this two, three, four. I swear, he just ammo racked that IS-2 right behind me. Ooh, big daddy. I love, I love like, oh my god. Yeah, look at that. He just pooped on me. We're going to call in air support. Oh yeah, moving just a little. Boop. Moving just a little bit. So we'll do the T-34 for a little bit of moments. But I mean, when I saw the, what do you call it? I don't think I need APCR. You don't really need them guys. When you're fighting a very predictable, they're dangerous, but they're incredibly predictable. <laughs> of course. Oh my God, this is kind of awesome actually. I'm having a lot of fun in this, and, it, and it's just, it's different. Oh my god, they're behind me. Oh my god, they're like, they're titty balls. 
Yay, tigers. Just gotta shoot all the dudes behind me. I could get shot in the back of my turret right now. Look at that guy. He's like, hey, Burn. How are you doing? Oh! And then we got tigered from the other side. This is actually... I'm enjoying this game mode a lot. I feel like I could play this for like a few hours, but then it slowly get a little stale. And by a few hours, I mean like one to two, probably. Because it, it's relaxed. It's a relaxed environment. Yeah, we gotta get everybody on this side. So let's do that. Tell me you're not a tiger. Thank God. Because then it's like, you know, it's... What you, it's like a, a zombies mode, but with tanks. See, there's a lot of shit you could do. Random events, weekend events, big, like... Oh, that's what you get for peeking out. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, PvE needs to come to War Thunder. And it needs to come... It needs to evolve. The AI, and I think that really starts with the AI, first and foremost. AI, once the AI is upped, there's so many things that you could do. Look at this. I'm just freaking surrounded. God. Now they're gonna be what? It's like target the tigers first, and you're pretty golden. And then T3485 point and click. Oh, what are you looking at? See, look, shot the dirt. Because it's like the AI is really only limited by what? Probably like an artificial, like, oh, you have a 10% chance. Of killing things. Are they over here too? They're not over there. See, like, our boys just held off that entire assault. Granted, we got to, like, resupply and everything. PvE, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think about this game mode? Let me know your thoughts. And, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys in the next video. And hopefully, we'll get to evolve this kind of, you know, dialogue, this discussion, the idea. And hopefully, the game will evolve too. Because, I mean, it's been a few years where it's been more or less the same. And it's been a great experience, but I just think there's just too much potential with this game to not want to push it and get to that point, right? Anyway, guys, see you in the next video.